So today we're going to be taking a look at uh, a CN101A timer. Very useful bit of kit. You can pick them up for under £5 generally in the UK. Used for powering uh, a lot of 12 volt, a lot of solar projects, chicken door uh, timers, uh, automatic light timers. I have a pond pump on one of these as well. Uh, so I just want to explain um, where people generally go wrong. A lot of people say they don't work properly. Um, usually it's down to the wiring. So I want to just go through and explain that for you uh, in just a little bit of detail today. Where people generally go wrong is uh, they have a battery. They wire positive to positive. They wire negative to negative. They then have the device they want to power. Uh, they wire the positive. Uh, to that terminal, they wire the negative to that terminal, expecting that the power will flow through the unit and out the other side. It doesn't work. Um, this is designed so they are completely separate. The output will actually power a uh, 250 volt uh, 16 amp. So the two are completely separate from each other. You'll also hear about jumpers, uh, which I'll explain in just one second now. The diagram doesn't show fuses. Uh, just want to point out, please do use fuses where appropriate. Uh, 12 volt is generally very safe. You can start things on fire and make a mess if you're not careful. So please do use them where needed. Uh, so onto the correct wiring for this. If we place it down here, 12 volt battery, positive to positive, negative to negative. That's absolutely fine and correct. Then what people do, they talk about the jumper where they make a second connection to that terminal and they connect it to that terminal there. You can also uh, just connect the positive to that one too. It doesn't matter. This is generally done for neatness. What you then do, you connect the out terminal to the positive of whatever it is you're powering and the negative of whatever you're powering goes all the way back to the negative terminal on the battery. So that's the correct wiring procedure to get this to work uh, and I'll show you that in practical form in just one second. Okay so this is the wiring circuit uh, in its practical form. What you have a 12 volt battery this is just a drill battery that I'm using just to show you the layout of the circuit. You have a positive comes up to the first terminal. I do just want to point out as well You'll see a lot of videos. Uh, some people say it's terminal one, some people say it's terminal two. I've actually tested it and it does work both ways around. But on the back of this one, it says positive is terminal one. So positive to that terminal, you're negative to the second terminal. You'll then see there's the jumper that's talked about, which is joining the first terminal to the third terminal. That's just providing 12 volts up to that side of the relay. And then from the other side of the relay out down to your device i'm just using a bulb here just to explain you can see we've got inline fuses in here as well a couple of wago connectors just to practically show you where it goes negative from whatever it is you're powering all the way back to the battery so just to show this functioning this unit here uh, it appears to be a later type. It doesn't appear to lock itself like a lot of the previous ones I've had, so I don't have to unlock it. I could just use the manual function down onto here. To turn that on, you can see the bulb comes on, back to auto, back to off, bulb goes off, uh, and I'll explain the programming of it uh, in just one second. Okay, so in terms of programming, this here, time is set, day is currently set, it's currently set to off as well, down on there. So we press program, it wants to know what day and what time it's going to come on. So uh, we'll leave it on all days, hour plus, we'll have it come on at uh, four o'clock on there, we press program again. We want it to go off at five o'clock, so we press the hours until it goes off at five. You can have it come on and off a lot of times throughout the day. You can just do it once, once a day if you want to. What you then need to do 
is set that to auto and when it gets to the time it'll come on at four o'clock. So we've programmed this to come on at four o'clock. We'll just count down now and this should all be well. Turn the bulb on. Okay, there we go. Success. Uh, any questions, please put it in the comments box and I'll do my best to help.